Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to make a Crossy Road game using Scratch. In Crossy Road, you have a character that's crossing the road, and your objective is to not get hit by the car. So let's get started. First, you want to open a new project. Go ahead and give it a title. I'm going to call mine Crossy Road. Then, we're going to start by creating the stage. So click the stage, then click on backdrops. We're going to start by making the pavement. Make sure you're in vector mode and not bitmap mode because vector mode allows you to draw and copy and paste much easier than bitmap mode. Okay, so to make the pavement, you're going to click on the rectangle tool. Let's make a grayish color, like so. And once you have your color, Go ahead and click and drag and fill the entire stage with this black grayish pavement, like so. Next, we're going to draw the road. So click the arrow key and then click back the box and we're going to pick a different color. This time, let's make it a bit lighter, maybe like this. Go ahead and drag the road. I would drag the road, leave a little space over here because that's where the finish line is going to be. So I would kind of skip a little bit of space, not in the middle, but a little bit above the middle and just draw kind of like a road like this. And I'm going to get rid of this outline because I don't want that black line to show. There we go. Let's go ahead and add some grass and that's going to be our ending, uh, our finish line. So go ahead and pick another color. We want the grass to be green. So there we go. I like that color. So then you're going to click and drag. Just make kind of like this rectangular green patch at the top. There you go. And finally, we're going to make the lines, the white lines, so it makes it look like it's a road, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pick white. There you go. And we're just going to make small rectangles. I would just make one rectangle and then you can copy and paste this um, over and over again. So just once you make one, select the arrow key, select it, copy and paste, and then you can just drag it to the right place. And that way you can make sure the boxes are even and it looks a little bit more clean. As you can see, it's starting to look a little bit more like a road now, right? And I think I might add one more. Okay. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, there is our road. So now we're going to go back to coding our little sprite here. So click on the sprite and then go to code. We're going to start by coding the sprite's movement. So we're going to use the up, down, right, left arrows. And some of you may have remembered this from the tutorial, but we're going to go to events and use the one space key pressed, but we're going to change that to up arrow. And we are going to have the cat point in a direction. So we're going to have it point in the zero direction when up is pressed. I'm going to go ahead and a trick is to use the duplicate function. So if you right click and click duplicate, you'll just make copies. And that way you won't have to go back and forth and drag the same blocks over and over. So we're going to do down arrow. Let's make this one 180. Duplicate that. We're going to go to right arrow. This one's going to be direction 90. And one more duplicate this one. This one's going to be left arrow and the direction is going to be negative 90, like so. Another key thing that you want um, to make sure is just to test it out. So go ahead and you can see the cat is kind of turning in, in, in the direction. Now, we didn't put any move blocks, so it's not moving back and forth yet, but it's pointing in the correct direction, right? You may have noticed when I press the left arrow, the cat is upside down. And that's because of the way that we have set up 
the rotation of the sprite. So to fix that, because we don't want our cat to go upside down, right? You're going to click on the direction um, number here. And do you see here, there's three options. This is if you want to rotate like in a circle. If you click on this one, this is kind of the mirror image flipping. That should fit flip uh, the correct way. So now if I try it, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use the arrow keys. You can see here, now it flips the right way, right? And I don't have to worry about my cat being upside down, right? So there we go. Um, now we're going to go ahead and add some cars and some obstacles and if you want to play around with this go for it you know you can be really creative you might have want to have some chickens kind of crossing the road or whatnot right um, but i'm just going to use a regular old car and we're going to add uh, some code to this car so that we have this car moving back in front right so drag the one green flag clicked code we're going to repeat this uh, we're going to use the repeat until block here. Okay. Um, and then we're going to say repeat, we're going to repeat the, the car movement, which we're going to have them move five steps. Okay. So let's change this to five. Um, and then we're going to use the if on edge bounds. So here, drag this and we're going to have this car repeat this until this cat, this, um, car is touching the sprite. So if this cat runs into the car, we want it to start doing something else. So let's go ahead and go to the sensing block and we're gonna grab the touching mouse pointer block, except instead of mouse pointer, we're gonna click on sprite one. Sprite one is the name of this cat, right? So we're gonna have this car move back and forth um, until it's touching this cat. And if it's touching this cat, we want the car to uh, do some, uh, the cat to do something, react, right? So we're going to add the broadcast button. So if you go to um, events, right, yellow events, there's this thing called broadcast. And broadcast is when this code is going to trigger uh, another sprite to read a code. So we're going to call this, click on message, click on new message, and we're going to call this one hit. So when I click on this, uh, it's going to keep ba going back and forth, right, until it hits the cat. It's already hitting the cat. And when it hits the cat, it's going to broadcast hit. So what is this hit going to mean? So now we're going to go back to this cat sprite, right? And we're going to finish this coding. So notice here on the right, under events, we have another block that says when I receive hit. So when the car broadcasts the block hit, the, this cat sprite is going to respond to it and say, when I receive this message hit, we are going to stop all of the other scripts, right? So we're going to click the stop. So other scripts in the sprite. And we're going to maybe say, ow, or I'm hit or something like that. So I'm going to drag the say block and I'm going to say I'm hit or you can say at or whatnot. Um, so there you go. And I might want to add a sound effect to make it a little bit more dramatic. So let, first, let's let's just test this out. Let's see what happens. So we have this car and you can see once it hits the cat, it's saying I'm hit. Ah, and just for fun, I am going to add a sound. So I'm going to go to the sound block. We have a meowing sound, um, So, but I want to change it to something else. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a sound. Maybe I want like a, yeah, I'm going to add this sound here, okay, because I like that. And you're going to go back to code, go to sound, right? And you're going to put this. So let's try it again. So I'm just going to click and drag. There we go. Perfect. So we have our code for the cat when he's hit, and we have our code for the convertible that's going to be moving back and forth uh, on this stage here. Now, let's code what happens if the cat does kind of escape this, this car and reaches the grass. So we need to finish our coding the cat. So click on sprite one again, or the cat. Let's go to events. We're going to drag the green flag 
And one thing I, I let's this cat is a, a little bit too big right now. So we're going to use the set um set size to percent block here. And we're gonna go ahead and reduce the size by about 50%. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's a better size, right? We also don't want the cat to start in the side of the road, right? Uh the cat ideally is going to start here on the sidewalk. So we're going to go ahead and set the location of this cat. We're going to drag this go to X and Y block. And essentially this is going to set the X and Y um, location on this, this stage here. Remember the X axis is going horizontally and the Y axis is going vertically and the numbers represent where on the vertical and horizontal axis the cat is. So we're gonna go ahead and set the X to zero, Y to negative 150, right? And let's see, you can see the cat is going to this center location, right? So there we go, perfect. Um, let's go ahead and finish up this, this code here. We're gonna make sure the cat is pointing in the direction of 90. We're gonna point them to the right. And we want this cat to repeat movement. So we're going to grab the repeat until block again. Let's go ahead and have the cat move uh, about four steps. Okay. And we also want our cat to be animated. So we're going to use the costume block. Let's go to looks. And I want you to go ahead and put the next costume block under this movement block. Now, <coughs> we want this to be repeated until uh, this cat reaches the green grass. So we're gonna go ahead and add the sensing block. And let's go ahead and drag the touching color block putting here. And we want it to touch this green color. So click on the color here, click on the eyedropper tool, hover over the color you want, and it's gonna pop it right in there. So we're gonna repeat the movement. Let's go ahead, there it is. The cat is running like crazy. It's gonna keep uh, running around until it's touching that green grass. And let's go ahead and see what happens when it touches the green. We need to finish this code. So um, when the cat touches the green grass, let's have it say something like, I made it or great job. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag the say block and I'm gonna say, I made it happy sounds, and I'm gonna add another sound here, maybe a congratulatory sound. So I'm gonna to go to effects. Let me see if I can find, um, uh, maybe, there we go, a ta-da sound. I'm gonna add this one, and I'm gonna to go to sound and play the sound ta-da. Okay, so let's test this out now. So let's click the green flag. I think some of you may have noticed, look at the car, it is driving upside down. So maybe some of you know how to uh, fix this. I showed you with the cat, right? So we need to go to the car. We're gonna click on direction and make sure that this, the flipping sign is on here in the middle. And now you can see that fixed the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this out. My cat is running. I'm gonna go ahead and go up before it gets hit. And there we go. Very, very uh, simple and easy. Uh, and that is the basics. Uh, some things that you may want to play around with is if you were to increase the steps here, let's say instead of five steps for the convertible, I do 10, you can actually increase the speed of the car. Some other things you can try uh, to make the game more challenging is to add more cars on the road or even animals that this cat has to dodge and that will make the game more challenging. You can also create multiple levels and make it easier in the beginning and then harder as they move up the level. So lots and lots of different ways you can mod this. Um, you can collect coins, things like that. And so have fun with this. Figure out some ways that you can make this game better um, But after starting this basic tutorial. And good luck. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thanks. Bye.